Hello again, everybody. This is Jeff Hendrickson again from Laughing Raven Studio. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the previous video, which was step one. Uh, I didn't rename this document yet, but this is going to be step two. Okay, and we're just going to get right into it. If you watched video one and two, you see that we started off with a garment with top stitching all over it. Just the basics now. We've done the one top stitch line, which was in the previous video, and we're going to continue on from there. Okay, A lot of times on lines like this, and this is a raglan sleeve garment, a lot of times on lines like this, the major defining lines of how the garment goes together, you'll have double top stitching. Okay, So we're going to do that here too. Um, I showed you how we copied this heavier line, we turned it into a dash line, and we moved it out. We're going to tidy this line up just a little bit, okay? And that's going to take your direct select tool, and we need to click on that line. And now you see how this is white, okay? Let's, uh, in fact, let's let's just zoom into this just a little bit more to show you this, because this is an important point with the direct select tool. On the direct select tool, anytime you click and you get the little white open space here. That means that you can move this particular point. If this isn't white, if this is dark, when you try to move this, you'll move the entire line. In other words, you'll move the entire line in space, and we don't want to do that here. We just want to tidy up this. So we've got our box. We're going to realign this just a little bit so that when we go back down on the bottom again, we see that we've got a line that is fairly well spaced out. And this is an important thing in... Um, this is a really important thing in manufacturing, watching top stitch lines. You'll see on uh, lesser made garments that the top stitch lines aren't always parallel. They don't always line up. Okay, So we're going to grab our direct select tool again. We are going to get a hold of this guy. We're going to, if you're on a Mac, it's Apple C and then F for your move. We're going to bump this guy out one more. Come back into here. And you see how that's dark right there. We can't, we can't have that. That's not going to work with us. We need to get our direct select tool again. And um, if you want to work with hotkeys on the Mac, that's an A. You get your direct select tool. We're going to click out of this. We're going to click back onto it again. We get our white one, which we showed a while ago. We're going to replace that just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go back and get my other tool again. Come back into this. Let's zoom this way down so we can start to see how it looks. Okay. Now, here's another trick for you. With your regular select tool, which is the dark one, you can actually grab a hold of both of these. I guess we're going to have to zoom in just a tiny a little bit to do that. You can grab a hold of both of these. We can copy. We can reflect them, and we can move them right over to the other one so that we don't have to draw them again. Either way, you could go back and do the same thing, but we're going to do it this way so that you can see a lot of different uh, ways to do these things. Okay? <clears throat> so. We're going to do the Apple C and F once more. Now I'm going to go up, and I'm sorry you can't see this, but I'm going to go up into Object, Transform. I'm going to reflect these guys, and you see immediately how it turned the wrong way. That's horizontal. We want vertical. There's our vertical. We say OK. We zoom back out here a little bit. You see that we've got the copy of those two things right there. We're going to move those over to the other one. Get them in place here. And it looks about right. <clears throat> I'd say that's about it. Let's zoom in and let's just make sure. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, we're going to go with that. That's a good shortcut to use. We're going to go with that right now. You can see now how we're starting to shape up. Now, these lines right here can be made to look two different ways. You may have seen garments recently where because of the way the top stitch lines are doing, it either looks like one piece is set into the other or one piece is set over top of another. We could do that here by putting our lines on the inside right here. If we did that, it would make it look like this is lying on top of this. If we put the top stitch lines out here, it's the opposite way. It makes this look like it sits on top of this. Time's about up for this video. We will continue right from this one. Let's get a good look at this again. Let's see what we've got. Let's see where we are. This is your ladies' warm-up jacket. Once again, I am Jeff Hendrickson from Laughing Raven Studio. I appreciate you coming to grab these things. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll be right back into it. Bye-bye.